John Mellencamp, whose latest album is up for a Grammy, has had other things on his mind this week, specifically the premiere of his first film called Falling from Grace in his hometown of Seymour, Indiana. He not only stars in the film, he has also directed it. Mark Shear reports. Your father made a pass at me today. Big shot. Yes, you could call John Mellencamp a big shot, now that he's officially a hyphenate, as in singer, actor, director. The 40-year-old musician acts in and directs Falling from Grace, co-starring with Marielle Hemingway and Kay Lenz. About the only thing he doesn't do is sing in the film, although since the early 80s, he says that's what Hollywood wanted from him. Their idea basically was, uh, you know, you sing and we'll make up a story, and I wasn't interested in that, so... Uh... It became a big point of contention almost. What, what do you mean? He's, he's a singer and he's not singing in the movie? What, what does this mean, you know? So uh, we had a hard time getting the film made. Falling from Grace finally emerged from a screenplay by Larry McMurtry about a successful country music star who returns home to his small town in Indiana. Hi, how are you? I listen to all your records. <laughs> now, just how autobiographical is this film? Actually, see, I never left Indiana. People, you know... Uh, but what the story is about is about a guy who outgrows, you know, something he loves and tries to go back and fit into it. And, uh, of course, that's impossible to do, but a lot of people try to do it. So, uh, it's just a caricature study about the human condition of, uh, of a family. The film was shot in and around Mellencamp's hometown of Seymour, Indiana, and he's hard-pressed to think of an old friend or a musician pal he couldn't find a role for. Well, those people were cheap, man. You know, it's like, okay, I'll be in the film. For a follow-up film project, Mellencamp's looking at hours of footage he shot over the years for a possible behind-the-scenes look at the music business, a business where he always wants the upper hand. Guys like me are like, next. And that's the way that they treat you in the music business and in the film business. And, you know, in the modeling business, I guess. Next. Sooner or later, it gets down to that. So for me, it was like, you know, I owe you seven more records. I hope you enjoy your poker records, dude. You know, and that's kind of the way I've always looked at it. Because ultimately, finally, it may be next for me, but I have the last word. Nobody ever controlled you. Nothing ever stopped you. Mark Shearer, CNN Entertainment News, New York.